you know, in school, we learned about centripetal force, and that's just a simply an equal inner force and an equal outer force. And the best example for that would just be to take a string and then put a rock on the end of the string. I start swinging the rock, my right hand would be the inner force and the rock would be on the outer force. And the faster I move this, the faster the rock would move on the outer force. And if I stop this, the rock would hit me in the head. It's that simple. I have to keep the equal inner force and an equal outer force. So you do that in a golf swing and then you add centripetal force by, by adding the third force, which is where you connect the left arm. That becomes your inner force to center your right arm becomes your outer force from center. So they're equal forces. I keep this here as long as that doesn't change. My right arm is always on the outer force to the finish. So if I, if you take your hands and do a split hand grip, you can get a good feel of centripetal force by simply taking it back and swinging the club with your hands apart. If you swing the club with your hands apart, this is the inner force your right arm is the outer force. 